I bought two refurbished PS3 Slim consoles from GameStop, and in this video, we're gonna unbox them, test them out, tear them down, and see if it got ripped off. Now this is a bit weird because I haven't seen GameStop sell PS3 consoles in like three or four years, and then all of a sudden I found these two, but I don't know, let's open them up, see what's inside. And I will say I am actually a bit disappointed we don't have a special box because I, I look forward to seeing GameStop's interesting exterior boxes, but we got plenty of packaging here. We have a USB cable there for charging. We have an HDMI cable. We have a power cable. We have a control. <laughs> no way. Is that seriously what I just pulled out of the box? Oh, wait, wait. Nope, it's just a, it's completely jacked up. What an awful start for GameStop. At least it's an OEM controller. Wow, that's actually surprising to be an OEM controller. Now let's go ahead and check out this console. I'm really excited to see what kind of condition this thing's in right here. Okay, it's uh, not great. What, <laughs> did they even wipe this down? What, what happened here? You get like white marks all over the top of it. It feels slick. Like they used a weird cleaning solution on it. I, I mean, I guess it's good they didn't, didn't magic erase it, but it's got quite a weird cleaning solution feel all over this thing and actually right off the bat we do have all four rubber feet which is extremely surprising and uh, yeah other than that it, it actually does look really good other than the fact that it's got white specks all over it and now my hands are my hands are like slick i don't even know how to describe it that's very i don't know what kind of solution this is um, but let's go ahead and put this one to the side and let's open up the second one now all right let's hope this is a little bit better all right we have a hdmi cable power cable those look good we also have a usb cable looks like the right one now, time for the controller reveal. And, ooh, right off the bat, this is a whole lot better. And it's a DualShock 3, which is good to see. And I will say, this controller actually seems pretty clean and in pretty nice condition. Wow. Now let's pull out this console and, oh, no, 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 no. This looks so bad. All right, first of all, it again has all these, these weird spots all over it. And it was definitely magic erased. I'll throw some B-roll because you can just, the, the B-roll will really, really hammer the, this home. Because, man, this thing looks awful. This might be the worst, the worst console I've ever gotten from GameStop. Um, at least they have not, <laughs> at least they didn't magic erase the glossy part right there. That's, I, I guess, a, a positive. And uh, bottom looks about the same. They've definitely both been opened up because they don't have the warranty seal intact here. Which you typically see if it's not opened up before. And, oh wait, hold on. I just, <laughs> I just noticed we are missing literally all four rubber feet. Also missing this cover right here. Uh, I, I would expect for a refurbished console to actually have the rubber feet because it's refurbished unless they tell me otherwise. But yeah, I don't know what's going on here with all these these spots here. This one is also very slick. Like I, I actually dropped it when I was pulling it out of the package because it just slid out of my hand from whatever kind of solution they used. Uh, but yeah, this one's got the double whammy of uh, a weird cleaning solution and magic eraser. Whew, man, that's, that's so rough. And the other thing I noticed here, let me just, uh, I'll show some B-roll on the screen, but basically I noticed that the HDMI port on the two consoles looks a bit different, so I think at least one of them has been replaced. I don't know if they refurbished anything on the inside, I don't know if they replaced thermal paste, uh, I don't know if they cleaned the inside. We'll of course open these both up later and check out the insides, but let's go ahead and start with uh, console number one, plug it in, turn it on, and <laughs> see if it works. Do you want a free PS5 console? Well, if you do, you're in luck because I'm giving one away on Whatnot in a few weeks, so go check out the details down below in the description. And by the way, if you sign up for Whatnot using my link down below, you'll get a $15 credit that you can use on one of my games to get it 100% free. No tax, no shipping. I'm talking 100% free. I got PS5 games, PS4, 360, a little bit of everything, so go check it out. And I don't know how I didn't notice this in the first controller, but it, it's got this like massive dent here in the bottom of the just the, the outer ring here i guess that could have happened in shipping i would i would assume so because i hope they're not sending out controllers that look like this but you never know with gamestop let's plug it in see if it works all right console's plugged in let's turn it on we got life any free games nope nothing inside i am curious if this console or this controller will even turn on all right cool once it's plugged in it's, it's working though uh, we'll see if it charges up let's go ahead and just go through this whole setup process here make sure we get to the main screen and then we'll just go through a, a plethora of tests all right, so first step here, we're booted up. Uh, console was factory reset by, by GameStop. Now let's go ahead and scroll down to the system info. I'm gonna see we're on 4.9. We have a 320 gig hard drive, that's good to see. But let's go ahead and just uh, start by sticking a game in and see if it works. Got a couple games to try here. We have The Last of Us, which really pushes PS3, so it's a good game to test and see if this thing is, you know, really handling PS3 games. We also have a PS1 game because PS3 games, or PS3 consoles, all PS3 consoles can play PS1 games. So let's go ahead and start out with The Last of Us here and see if this bad boy can handle it. Nice, that's a good start. <laughs> All right, so the uh, <laughs> this mechanism works, but not well. If they had actually refurbished it, they would open it up and clean the rollers, and that there's like a 95% chance that would have fixed the fixed that issue. Now that's not a big issue, but again, it just goes back to the whole refurbished thing. What is refurbished? Why don't they just call it used if it's not refurbished? Come on, man. But let's go ahead and boot up Last of Us here and see how long I can play. So I've been playing Last of Us for like 10 or 15 minutes now, and this thing's honestly running like a champ. Uh, the fans ramped up like maybe one level, still super quiet. There's a little bit of heat coming out the back. The top is super cool. 
Um, so, you know, in terms of performance, it's running really well. And just for reference, like uh, when I played this on a backwards compatible PS3 from DK Oldies a couple months ago. Oh, yikes. There it is. All right, so we got about three and a half minutes into gameplay uh, and it overheated. Uh, the, the console died in like five minutes after playing The Last of Us, so that's kind of where I'm coming from. But let's go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, actually the one main issue here is of course this, uh, <laughs> this controller's jacked up. So if you want to always go forward on your right stick, this is a perfect solution. Otherwise it's working. Let me check out this PS1 game real quick and we'll make sure it's good to go. Well, that's not good. It appears that our PS1 game is frozen. Been like this for a good 30 seconds at this point. Uh, I know this game works because I've tried it on other consoles. Yeah, I guess let me try it again. So the games did start working. I'll just chalk up the issue to a, I don't know, just a PS1 hiccup. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to console number two. And that's just glorious, man. No rubber feet at all. It just slides around. Oh, man, that's like my pet peeve is having no rubber feet. Um, but I'm a little worried about this one because of just how bad this one looks. Let's go ahead and turn it on, plug in the controller, and see what it does. Cool, well, we're booted up here. Let's go ahead and check out the system information here. We are on 4.9, 320 gigs. Looks about right. Uh, I guess this is on 4.9 as well. I guess they're probably just updating all the consoles, which is would honestly surprise me if they are doing that. But let's go ahead and put in, we'll start with MW2 this time, just verify the, con the controller works. I will say this controller... Okay, that was... <laughs> That was a weird start. Once I pushed it in, it went in a little better, but gave me a really strange noise. Let me try that one more time. Okay, that's better. All right. To be fair, the the PS3 disk drives just in general, especially on the Slims, I find are very jank. They just sound and feel crappier than they, they should, but, you know, if it works, it works. Um, I will say this controller, though, this thing is, ooh, this is a nice controller. Like, you don't see a whole lot of really nice condition DualShock 3s these days. So it's always a surprise to me when I, when I get one that actually is in nice condition. But of course, we'll test out the controls and make sure it actually works, so uh, let's do that. Yeah, controller's definitely good to go here. <laughs> Console's still running well. Let me go ahead and put in The Last of Us, and we'll see how long it'll last. So basically the same thing as the other PS3. Played Last of Us for like 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, console's running great. You know, it ramped up a little bit in terms of fan speed, but it's still very quiet. Uh, pushing out the heat out the back. I'll show some thermal imaging on the screen so you can kind of see the heat signature, but pretty normal stuff. Let's go back to the main menu, put in the PS1 game, and make sure it works. So PS1 game is working, which is no surprise there, and now we get to the fun part, where we get to tear down these consoles, see what it looks like on the inside, and see if games have actually opened these up, if they replaced anything, if they cleaned anything, uh, and kind of just get a little peek into GameStop's process here and see what they're doing. Now back to console number one, let's go ahead and open this one up, and man, I forgot how bad the bottom looked with those white specks there. It's so so strange, but uh, we'll start with the hard drive here, take it out, and then we'll take everything else apart and just take a look at the inside. So hard drive is usually a pretty good indicator of what the rest of the console will look like. You know, if it's dusty, then the inside will probably be dusty, but this one's really clean, so maybe they did, actually there's a little bit of dust, but maybe they did actually open this up and clean it out. Uh, let's go ahead and find out. Did they magic erase the inside of this thing? I can't, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this might be one of the consoles where, for whatever reason, it just looks crashed up on the inside, or they might have magic erased it. That, that would be wild if they actually magic erased the inside of a console. Um, you can see a little bit of dust there from the fan. Oh yeah, fan is definitely dusty, so I don't, I don't think they came in here and cleaned out anything. It doesn't look dirty, it's just that, you know, if they cleaned it out, the fan would not be dirty. But let's go ahead and just keep going further down to the board and take a closer look. So I did want to take a look at the rollers because they clearly weren't pulling the disc in quite as they should. And there's there's four rollers in there, little wheels in there that basically roll the disc inside. Um, and you can just tell by the front of the disc drive that it's, it's kind of dusty. So I'm sure those rollers in there are, are a bit dusty as well. It doesn't mean it to be super dusty. Just as, if there's a little bit of dust, then it can definitely make the, the disc a little bit slower to roll in. So they definitely did not do any cleaning there. But let's go ahead and take the entire uh, board out of the chassis now. Okay, so here on the bottom, what in the world? Okay, so <laughs> the bottom almost looks like it has the same cleaning solution, maybe. Like, it's got just, like, some white specks and stuff there. Maybe, I almost wonder if, like, some of the cleaning solution leaked into the case. I remember that happening with some, some Luki game stuff, like, a year ago. A weird solution. There's, like, even some, like, almost call it leak leakage inside of the, uh, where the, the, the card slots are. I don't know, there's weird stuff going on where it's, like, like, they cleaned it, kind of, but... Not really. I'm um, looking at the bottom of the case here. It's not like, I don't know, it's not filthy, but it's definitely was not cleaned out. Like, you know, if they came in here and cleaned it out, it wouldn't have a layer of dust in here. Let's go ahead and take the, the two clamps off here. Take a look at the thermal paste and, and see if they replaced it because that's that's the telltale sign. Like, did they replace the thermal paste? If they didn't, then it's, you know, obviously they did not fully refurbish it. Let's check it out. All right, here comes the big reveal. And nope, sure enough, they did not replace it. That's definitely the OEM paste. Which, to be honest, the OEM paste doesn't look awful for how old it is, but clearly they should have replaced that. And we have this other real, that's, that's kind of funny, just seeing a little thermal pad there. Um, the other thing I want to check here is the HDMI port. Because like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure one of these HDMI ports was replaced. Definitely not this one. This one looks fine. Uh, in fact, the 
board itself just in general looks fine. I don't see anything obvious they replaced. So I'm really curious what was refurbished by this console. I don't know that they fixed anything. They clearly did not come in here and clean anything out. I mean, maybe the disk drive was, was bad. Maybe the uh, maybe they replaced the laser. I don't know, it's kind of a mystery. But let's go ahead and move on to console number two and see if they refurbished that one. Oh, wait, <laughs> I was putting this PS3 away and I just I just found us a little bug. Great, what is, looks like a ladybug or something or just a shell. Ew, come on, man. Really, look at that there, guys. You see, if these things were actually refurbished, then I wouldn't have to deal with bugs, but always bugs. All right, now start with the hard drive again, and yeah, this hard drive is actually a bit dustier, so of course I'm, I, I highly doubt they opened. Oh wait, nope. We got some dust bunnies coming out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. All right, let's open it up. Pop the top off, and oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right. So first of all, still bunches of just dust and grime up here. I, it looks like we have some dirt or something ingrained into the case there, which is strange. And of course we got our good old dust bunnies. Uh, let's go ahead and take the power supply and just drive out, take a look at the board. All right, let's pull this board out here. And oh yeah, we got this, uh, actually it's not too terrible on the bottom. It is dusty, but yeah, not, not terrible except for the fact that we have more dust bunnies hiding down here, which is just always awesome. Wow, yeah, this bottom piece is even, wow. <laughs> it looks like a desert. <laughs> let's go ahead and take off the metal shielding. Take a look at the thermal paste and see what it looks like. All right, let's pop this board out here, uh, if it doesn't get stuck. And yep, same deal here. So thermal paste is definitely not replaced. And this one is uh, definitely dirtier. We got just caked in, uh, you know, good old dust bunnies around the heat sink, especially the heat sink and the chips as well. And uh, looking at taking a closer look, this is the one that I thought the HDMI port might've been replaced because it looked a bit different, but I, I uh, you know, I don't, it doesn't look like a, a GameStop replacement job. It looks like it's from factory. I do see some flux there, but I think that's just from factory as well. So these consoles are both kind of a, another mystery from GameStop where they, they clearly were not open and cleaned. I, I don't know if they fixed anything. It doesn't appear they fixed anything, but at least they both work. And honestly, the price is not bad for a 320 gigabyte uh, uh, PS3 for 113 is not bad at all, to be honest. Guys, let me know down below what you think. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.